Nola Gent here at the Shed Barbecue. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Barbecue Travel Vlog, we're on a travel search for a southern food tour of Mississippi Barbecue in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. We will be doing a barbecue review of the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint, which is located in Ocean Springs, Mississippi at 7501 Mississippi 57, which is about one hour and 30 minutes away and 97 miles from the New Orleans French Quarter. You're invited to eat with me some Mississippi food as first we feast on barbecue brisket, coleslaw, and mac and cheese. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best southern restaurants and this southern food blog will show you how we enjoy our southern restaurant experiences. I have eaten here many times in the past. It's gotten sort of inconsistent uh, in my experience over the last few years, so I don't go here as often as I used to. Now I have heard that maybe it's gotten better of late, so I'm looking forward to having some better experiences here. I did have some relatives that live nearby in the area. They moved away though, so that doesn't put me in this area as much as I used to be. However, this has always been a really fun place where they would have live music, and hey, live music along with some barbecue, that makes for a pretty big combination of fun. Now they've added a little bit of extra stuff here in the back that wasn't here during my past visits. It looks like they've added a uh, little uh, bar area kind of space right there. So here we go with the entrance to the actual barbecue area here. So all this looks pretty much the same and they have lots of different funky kinds of decorations throughout the spot. So this is uh, definitely a joint and a shed all in one. There's all kinds of bric-a-brac and all sorts of stuff everywhere. And it's uh, certainly very uh, thrown together in many ways. And they've got a whole lot of stuff in here. So it is definitely an experience to come in here and see this place. So let's check out this menu now. We have pecan wood smoked barbecue by the pound, baby back ribs, pulled pork, 16 hour brisket, sliced or pulled, barbecue wings, chicken, Mississippi made sausage, smoked turkey breast, sliced, Barbecue plates with two sides. Jumbo your plate for $3. Can't decide, get a combo plate. Baby back ribs, pulled pork, 16 hour brisket, sliced or pulled. Chicken, sausage, smoked turkey breast, sliced. Combo plate, two meats, two sides. Barbecue sandwich only, make it a sandwich plate, add two sides. Jumbo any sandwich for $2, add slaw topper, 75 cents. Baby back, off the bone. Pulled pork, 16 hour brisket, sliced or pulled, pulled chicken, sausage, smoked turkey breast, sliced. Then we have sides and stuff with single serving $4, pint $7, pork $14, potato salad, has bacon yum, sweet potato casserole, has pecans, Daddy O's coleslaw, Mama Mia's mac salad, macaroni and cheese, Gma's baked beans, collard greens, French fries, small or large, fried okra, small or large, fried pickles, small or large, hush puppies, small or large, house fried pork skins, variety of chips available. Can't decide, get a combo plate, two meats and two sides of your choice, regular or jumbo, children's portions, baby back rib plate, two bones, two sides, barbecue plate, choice of one meat, two sides, grilled cheese plate with fries, okra or chips, Hot dog plate, all beef hot dog with fries, ochre, art chips. Mac and cheese plate with fries, ochre, art chips. Eat dessert first, no regrets. Desserts made fresh daily. We have banana pudding, Quake's ice creamery, homemade custards, locally owned creamery. Ask for available flavors. And then some other options. It looks like they ain't got no more. So you pay when you order, and my total was $18.99, but I messed up and hit the 10% instead of 20% tip total, so I had to get some cash to make up that difference. So they've got a decent little indoor dining space right here, and a whole lot of merchandise available as well. They also have this little back area with all the awards and trophies they've won throughout the years of barbecue contests. You might want to check that area out. So you pretty much get picnic table seating throughout. Then they have a little more of an outdoorish patio area with some tables covered, some out in the open. 
So you also have this little area to sit in as well. They do have some heaters there for when it gets cooler. Now I'm a little bit grumpy because they were out of the sweet potato casserole, and I think that's the best side they have here. And instead I got the mac and cheese, which I forgot. I absolutely hate their mac and cheese here, unfortunately. I just don't think it's a very good version of that. But here we go with the brisket. So let's see how this tastes this time. Oh, so it tastes a lot better than it has on my last few visits here. This is getting back up to the level of goodness it was when this joint first opened. So I can say, at least in the brisket category, they've gotten back on top of their game again, as this is quite a delicious, tasty brisket here. Now they have gotten a lot more stingy with their barbecue sauces. Used to, they had all the sauces on the table. Now you kind of have to just ask for the sauce and they bring you tiny little uh, cups of it. So I guess uh, people were wasting too much of the sauce or otherwise not uh, doing what they were supposed to do with the barbecue sauces. And the bottles they used to get you. So used to, there were some uh, squeeze bottles on the table, but I guess for whatever reason, they had to resort to bringing them out in little cups instead. Now, this brisket's uh, been pleasing. Now, let me give the mac and cheese a try, see if it's improved from my past experiences. It doesn't look good. Nope, it's not taste good. Uh, not very much ooey gooey cheesy goodness at all. It's just like, ah, all right, let's taste the slaw. Slaw has always been okay. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, it's okay, slaw. It's more the mayo based. I like the vinegar based. So, you know, nothing all that special on the sides until you get to the sweet potato casserole. It's pretty good. Brisket, uh, at least it's good. Sides are just sort of blah, kind of an afterthought uh, for the most part, other than that sweet potato casserole, which is a dessert almost to me. So uh, at least I can be happy with this brisket and it's uh, very flavorful, very tender. It's uh, certainly not exactly my preferred Texas style of barbecue brisket. It's still a pretty good version overall though, so you can't really uh, find anything tough about it. It's very, very just kind of fall apart, tender, and there's plenty of decent flavors in there. So it's got some smokiness to it, certainly. It's got a nice little smoke ring going on there with it. So it's uh, not my all time top brisket, but it's certainly one of the better briskets that I've had in Mississippi. And there's certainly far worse brisket examples that I've had in many places. So, uh, you know, uh, not up to Texas level, but as far as the South in general, pretty good on average. Not top of the top, it's more of the middle level to me at least. Hey, other people, other barbecue contests can certainly judge it differently. Everybody's got their own individual taste profile, what they like and what they prefer, certainly. Now, uh, if the brisket stays this good, I certainly would make a return visit, and I would certainly get this again, and hopefully they would have my sweet potato casserole. So, uh, you know, your experience could uh, certainly differ. Maybe you would love the mac and cheese here. Me, I like mine a little more ooey gooey, actual cheesy mac and cheese. This is kind of more of that powdered sauce that comes in the box mac and cheese, which, ah, uh, you know, some people uh, prefer that to having actual ooey gooey cheesiness, which, hey, you know, whatever you like. But me, I like that real cheese. So the brisket is certainly the star of the show today, and it will be my primary draw to make a return visit to this joint, other than if they've got a good band playing. So always good to plan your visit here on a time when they have some music going. It can be a whole lot of fun here as well. So you can have some good times and some decent barbecue food with uh, the sides that could use a little tweaking in my opinion at least. So it's uh, you know, overall a worthwhile stop if you're hungry and want something that's gonna fill your belly and give you a nice experience of this environment, which is pretty darn unique. Okay, let's see here. We're going to uh, get deep into the mac and cheese, see if there's any improvement. Clearly no ooey gooey cheesiness and no, not a whole lot of improvement in flavor there. So even in the deep center of the mac and cheese, not a whole lot of cheesiness. Ah, uh, coleslaw, you know, it's kind of your plain Jane mayo-based one, which at least it's edible. It's not really uh, 
anything extraordinary. It's a little too sweet for my preference. It's a lot of sugary-ish uh, with a dash of mayo. I like a little more tart, sour flavor profile, but it seems a Mississippi at least. The preferred version of coleslaw seems to default to that sweeter mayo-based one. It's very finely, finely chopped like this one. Uh, the brisket, though, is uh, pretty darn good here to the last bite, it looks like. So, in my book, that was the main draw here. So now, just like I've totally destroyed that brisket and the slaw, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this brisket and the rest of the barbecue plate. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Thanks so much to everybody at the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint. And thanks so much to all of you out there that tuned in to the Knowledge Ed channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it now? Because it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.